Yeah, uh, I know the score wasn't what you wanted, but uh, to be able to come home, play in front of your family, uh, what was that like? What kind of time did you get to spend maybe seeing, seeing those guys before and after? I mean, it was definitely a pleasant surprise. I mean, a pleasant experience. You know, I wish we could have got the win so they could see that. But you know, it's just good to have them out there supporting me. I'm a, uh, talking about how things change when Eric goes down. How, how it changes the mentality of what you guys try to do offensively, but also it's just your uh, you know, your emotion, your emotional level at that point. You know, being down your starting quarterback. Um, Coach, he, he he talks about it every day at practice. Um, next man up mentality. Next man has to be ready to do that. Um, come. And, you know, lead the team, and you know, Clemson, they're a good defense, and you know, they play well. Um, I feel like Eric, he'll be back, he, he, he's gonna bounce back, you know. How do things change though when he's out offensively with what you guys are trying to do? Oh no, nothing changes, you know, he's still the same car, still the same tempo, still the same plays, but you know, for the personnel that's in there, you know, they just have to adjust to that. So you were right next to Eric uh, when he was down on the field. What are you thinking as you watch that? Obviously you guys are close, how important he is for this team. Um, taking the next time I knew he would be back. Um, I looked him in the eye, he looked back at me, he said he was all right, so I knew he would be back. Did you get to talk to him a little more during the game or after the game just about how, how he's feeling? Oh, yeah, I mean, he told me he was ready to suit back up and play. Like, you know, Eric's a dog, he's going to fight regardless. He can, Eric can have one leg, he'll still be out there. But, you know, he told me he was ready to play. Did, did he say where he got hit? Oh, no, he didn't tell me. Okay. Other questions for Amba? You know, how much did you get to see your family this weekend, if at all? Um, before, the, before this little interview, I was up there talking to him, so I, I got to see him a little bit. Yeah, and you know, how excited, I, I don't think you've probably seen him since like the summer, so how, what's it like to get to talk to him? It's a, it's a refreshing feeling, you know, my mom, my brothers, everybody came down to watch him play, so it's, just a, it's a great feeling. What did you think about Austin Wilson and his performance, and you know, did you say anything to him during those first few drives to try and calm him down? Yeah, I mean, Austin, he's an older guy, so he knows um, what it is to be in that situation. I think he came in and did the best he could, given the situation of playing the number two team in the um, country. But uh, I think Austin did a good job coming in and, you know, battling back. And that throw to you on the sideline where he was kind of rolling up his left, I think that was his best throw of the day? Yeah, I think it was. Coach Babers was just saying that it's frustrating to lose, but exciting that he now knows what you know you guys are shooting for because that, that team not many better than them. What impressed you the most about Clemson? And you know, I mean, it doesn't look like they have any weaknesses out there. Um, their discipline really, um, really impressed me. You know, they didn't miss too many assignments. They did what they were supposed to. You know, they tackled well. That impressed me pretty much. What can you learn about a game about yourself from a game like this? Um, it's still work to be done. You know, this. The clock never stopped ticking. You have to go back, go back into the office and just keep working and keep improving. I think when uh, Eric went down, we kind of expected Zach to be the guy to come in. Uh, in kind of the week leading up to Clemson, how much time did Austin work with the ones? How much time did Zach work with the ones? Um, I think that's a question you might have to ask the coach. I'm not too sure about that. Time for a couple more questions. Anything you're, you're thinking about as you sit there before the game, you know, knowing that had it kind of played on this field, is that something you're – Reflecting on in that moment? Um, I try not to look too much at the stage. You know, I just kind of grasp it at the beginning, but I don't, you know, think too much of it. Just go out there and work on my assignments and play fast as I can. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like Tankersley was on you some, sometimes. Uh, what did you think about him? What kind of challenge did he present for you? Uh, I feel like he's a good corner. He did a lot of good things. Last question for Amba. How do you guys put this behind you? Uh, really big game next Saturday in the Dome against NC State. How do you flush this one quickly and look ahead to that one? Um, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna get into the meeting room. We're gonna correct the mistakes, and after that, we're gonna put this behind us and work towards the next uh, the next game, which will be NC State, like you said. Thank you, Am. Appreciate it.